A corporation's officers and directors have a duty to exercise reasonable care in managing the corporation's affairs. However, a corporation may be indemnified for its employees' illegal conduct when the conduct constitutes a breach of fiduciary duties owed to the corporation. In the 1963 case Graham v. Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company, the Delaware Supreme Court considered whether corporate officers and directors could be held liable for breach of the duty of care for losses resulting from their failure to supervise and manage corporate employees. Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company was a large manufacturer of a variety of electrical equipment. The company's policy was to delegate responsibility to the lowest possible level of management. The board of directors were made up of 14 members, which met monthly to decide major policy issues, but didn't address particular issues of the company's subparts. Operations at Alice Chalmers were conducted by two groups. One of the two groups, known as the Industries Group, was under the direction of J.L. Singleton, one of the company's vice presidents. Further, the Industries Group was divided into five subgroups, one of which was the Power Equipment Division, managed by J.W. McMullen. The Power Equipment Division also contained 10 departments, each of which had its own manager or general manager. In 1956, employees in the Power Equipment Division took part in a scheme with other manufacturers and their employees to fix prices and rig bids to private electric companies and governmental officials in violation of federal antitrust laws. Ultimately, Alice Chalmers and its four employees pled guilty to antitrust violations but none of Alice Chalmers' directors had actual knowledge of the antitrust violations. Rather, when the directors learned of the wrongdoing, they investigated and issued a new antitrust policy to prevent future violations. Subsequently, John and Yvonne Graham, as shareholders of Alice Chalmers, filed a derivative action in Chancery Court against the company's directors and employees for damages resulting from the antitrust violations. Specifically, the Grahams argued that the directors were put on imputed notice of potential antitrust violations based on two Federal Trade Commission decrees from 1937 related to antitrust violations, and that they had a duty to prevent future violations. In response, Alice Chalmers moved to dismiss the complaint for failure to state a cause of action, which the court granted. The Grahams appealed the decision to the Delaware Supreme Court.